this year's extreme weather is affecting crops, not only in our state, but also nationwide. And the shortage of one of those crops is making waves in grocery stores all over, including right here in Oklahoma. It's going to hit all of us. New at 5, News 9's Darren Brown is live in the Web Center with the latest product driving up prices. DB? Kelly, much like the stock market, food prices rise and fall according to the law of supply and demand. This year's corn crop fell a little short, but the overwhelming market for corn and corn products is pushing the price skyward. It seems like every visit to the grocery store brings about a different item that spikes the total. This time it's corn, although Oklahoma is not a huge producer. We produce about the same amount of corn that one or maybe two counties in Iowa will produce. Our entire state, those one or two counties. And with this year's drought, the corn that is available is in high demand. As a matter of fact, uh, it's been quite difficult sometimes to get corn in because of the uses of biofuel and et cetera. Um, corn is pretty scarce. I recall back maybe four or five years ago when you could get corn six, seven for a dollar. And now those days are pretty much over. So how do you avoid the coming corn inflation wave? Well, if you figure it out, you might want to let the rest of us know. Because corn is not just in these chips. It's also in these hot dogs, and these cupcakes, this cereal. We got soft drink here, even in one of my favorites, frozen pizza. Corn farmers have been able to develop a lot of products that uh, utilize their, their grain. And when you talk about grain, you have to factor in the grain that is used by cattle, pork, and poultry ranchers for their livestock. Those prices will eventually make their way to us also. They have to pay those higher prices, and as a result, the, uh, the meat that they're producing is going to be more expensive at the grocery store. Grocers tell me that we're right now in the prime season for actual corn, but the demand for corn byproducts is in effect year-round.